Hey everyone, it's Zeke and today I'm going to discuss the difference between ASIC mining and GPU mining and which one is right for you. If you're looking for how to start mining crypto for the first time and have no idea what you're doing, then you're in the right place. I'm about to reveal some easy ways to decide what kind of mining hardware you want and what to buy and which one is best for your situation. I'm about to reveal some easy ways to decide what kind of mining hardware you want to buy and which one is best for your situation. Well, without having to do all the research for yourself. I understand that getting into mining for the first time can be very stressful and difficult when you don't know what to spend your hard-earned money on, but don't worry because today I'm going to share with you the difference between GPU mining and ASIC mining. So first things first, I'm going to explain what an ASIC miner is and what a GPU miner is. ASIC stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit, and in this case it means it's built to run a specific algorithm on it to solve mining problems and be rewarded on crypto. GPUs on the other hand are just graphics cards connected to a piece of software like a normal computer and they can run any algorithm you set them up to. So to keep things simple, mining with GPUs is like building a big and powerful computer only you add tons of graphics cards to it. ASICs on the other hand are more plug and play because since they're built and set up to mine crypto right away. So you're probably wondering how do you decide which one is right for you? Well, it depends on how much money you have and where you're going to host the mining rig. GPU mining can be noisy and can generate a little bit of heat that you have to ventilate out. But if you don't have like over 100 graphics cards running at the same time, then there's really nothing to worry about. But ASICs are extremely noisy and produce a lot of heat because they draw a lot of power. Uh, personally, I have eight GPUs and a mining rig running in a room next to me and I can barely hear them most of the time. But if I had just one ASIC running in that same room, I would hear it all the time. Another thing is that most ASIC miners require more than more power than what a standard outlet can handle. So you'll most likely need to hire an electrician who can self help you safely power your ASICs because um, electri electrical fires are no joke and you don't want to just plug in a couple of these into a normal outlet and run the risk of burning down your whole entire home and lose the new ASICs you just bought. So if you're going to buy multiple ASICs and run them in the same room, you're going to have to spend some money to get them actually powered properly with an electrician or something. Whereas with GPUs, you can probably just run multiple rigs in the same room with all the standard plugs as long as you hook up the wiring properly. But definitely do your research and make sure you're not overloading an outlet or cable because any type of mining hardware can draw a lot of power and always run the risk of catching on fire or just burning out something. So now that you know a little bit of ASICs and GPUs, it's time to look at how much money you can actually make from mining. I use a website called what to mine and it gives you a lot of great information on the profitability of different graphics cards and miners. So if you want to check that out for yourself, I will provide a link to it in the description and I'll also give you a little tutorial on how to uh, look at the website. So let's get into it. Okay, so here is what to mine. It is a very helpful website and uh, I'm going to show you how to just use it real quick. So heading over to the GPU tab uh, it has a list of all the NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. So first on the list is 3090 because it's the most powerful card. Um, and second is the Radeon 7. So yeah, it goes from 3090, 3080, 3070, 3060, etc. And there's also a uh, 20 series cards as well. So yeah, um, profit for 24 hours this is how much you're gonna be making after electricity cost. So on the 3090, it's around 764 right now at the current price of Ethereum. And um, not including electricity, you'll be making 840. So you, up here you can type in the electricity cost per kilowatt hour. So most places it's around 10 cents per kilowatt hour. But if you're living in a place that's more expensive, you can type in 20 cents or even 8 cents. It's up to you, however much you want to put. Um, but I'm just going to keep it at 0.10. So anyways, um, the 3080 will be making around 619. So say you want to buy a 3080, the full hash rate model, um, which by the way, they include the LHR models. So if you're buying LHR models, use the LHR model, not the the normal one. So saying you're buying a 3080 for around a thousand bucks, which you probably won't be. Um, <laughs> but say you're buying one for a thousand bucks and it makes 619 per day. Your break even point or ROI, which is how when you make your money back, um, it's going to be around 162 days, which is really good. But you probably won't be able to buy one of these for a thousand dollars right now. <laughs> um, so it's going to be more like 200 to 300 days, which is still pretty good. So this is just a helpful website to basically calculate how much you'll be making. And if you want to type in like all the different cards you're going to be making here. So say you're buying like a 3060 Ti, a 3080, a 3070 Ti, a 3060 Ti LHR. You can just calculate it and see how much you'll be making. So if I had four 3080s, one 3070 Ti, eight 3060 Ti's and one 3060 Ti LHR, 
I'd be making 6289 per day, which is pretty good, but this is a lot of graphics cards. And then the miner tab here has a list of all the ASIC miners. So let's look at the A miner S19 Pro. This will be taking around 3,500 watts, which is a lot of electricity. And this is the hash rate, 110 tera hashes per second, which is a lot. Uh, this will be mining Bitcoin. And um, this is how much you'll be making per day, 28.38. So say you buy one of these for 10 grand, you can just divide that 10 grand by 28.38 and see how long it'll take you to break even on that. So if you're if you're gonna buy a couple of these, um, find some on Marketplace or Craigslist, and just divide the price of them by this. And if the ROI is like 400 days, 500 days, it's probably not worth it. But if you can make your money back in around 200 or 250 days, then it's really worth it. Um, Bitman A Miner E9. This one takes less power, um, and it's three giga hashes per second. This one makes around $214 per day. And this is a lot more efficient on electricity if you compare this one. Pretty big difference between the revenue and profit. Whereas this one is uh, more efficient. So yeah, this one makes 214.86 per day. And this is how much you make before electricity. So that's pretty good. And if you can find one of these at a good price, just divide it by this and see what your ROI will be. And that's how you can decide if it's worth it to buy. So in general, this is a good site to use. Um, I like it a lot because when I was buying my, I was buying eight 3060 Ti's and I basically just put them into here, right here. I just hit calculate and I saw they'd be making $31.76. So the amount I paid for them, I just divided by this and I thought it was a good deal. I would be getting my money back in around 250 days, which is eight to eight to nine months, I believe. And that's pretty good. So that's why I went that's why I went for my graphics cards. And um, I'm just mining at home, so I didn't I didn't go for the ASIC miners because these things are pretty loud and noisy and take a lot of power. So yeah, the choice is yours. I recommend GPU mining if you're just getting into it. But if you're an experienced miner and have a facility to host your miners, then definitely go for an ASIC miner because they're just they're built specifically for mining. And if you want to mine like Bitcoin um, then these are built for that. You can also mine Ethereum and other coins, um, but long term speaking, Ethereum's not going to be mineable forever. So if you want to like host a bunch of these and just leave them there for mo for years to come, um, it's definitely a good investment. So I'll leave a link to this website in the description for you guys to check out. But anyways guys, that is basically the general information you need to know about ASIC miners and GPU miners and how to decide which one to get. But if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll provide some links to different videos and articles to find some more information on the two types of mining. I think that mining is a really good way to make money on the side and if you like working with computers then it's definitely a fun process to go through. I really enjoyed setting up my own rig a lot and I'm sure you will too. So with that all said, make sure to smash the like button so that more people can see this video and feel free to subscribe for more content on cryptocurrency and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.